Uh, welcome to the NFL Draft Preview with I thought we we're doing with NFL me, season Max preview. Fine and Blake Newsom. We're going to be previewing the NFL season today, 2017. What are your thoughts like fantasy football? Like who's going to be good this season? Dak Prescott is going to have another breakout season. Nobody really expected that much out of him last season. They expected another boring Tony Romo uh, sucking in November as usual. Um, so when Dak Prescott came up and showed out, he showed out. And with Ezekiel in the backfield with him, that was unreal. We're trying to see if he can do it again. Uh, what do you think, Cooper? I think uh, the Cowboys can make a run. They have really good Dak Prescott. He's experience now. They have Ezekiel Elliott, their offensive line. I mean, maybe Ezekiel Elliott might get suspended for what he's done. But their offensive line is solid enough. They the bar have, incident? Yes, the bar incident. They have enough experience um, with the offensive line in their other positions that they can probably win their division. What do you think? I definitely think to not to not sleep on the Cowboys. I mean, last year they showed out with two rookies. Um, Dak Prescott was drafted, I believe, in the later rounds, and he was a good he was a pretty good quarterback at Mississippi State, but average for the SEC West. He came in and showed out really nice for the Cowboys. But to be honest, in my Super Bowl predictions, I'm guessing it's probably going to be a, a rematch between the Patriots and Falcons, just because of how much they've improved over the off season. And on to the Patriots. Will they continue their dominance? They have been a most dominant team in the league for the last ten. Years. What do y'all think? Tom Brady's getting kind of old. Uh, that's He's just to say the least. They have the experience, but their guys are getting a little bit older. They have experience, but over a time, your body just kind of shuts down during the season. And those long 16 games plus playoffs, if you make it with camp and stuff, your body just gets worn out and you get hit and you just get tired. I think the Patriots are going to do good, but I don't think they can make a run for the Super Bowl this year. So one thing I want to say is how are the Steelers, who looks like they're their biggest matchup the last few years, especially in the AFC Championship it showed last year, How do you think the uh, what do you think the Steelers need to do to be able to get over the hump and be able to compete with the Sign Patriots? Sign Le'Veon Bell to a longer deal. They need him. He's they, a running back. The problem with that was released this morning, the problem with his contract, was they missed the deadline, and so he gets signed for $12 million this year, but then he's a free agent, so he basically has room to go anywhere he wants to next year. That's yeah, they the need to. They need to play well because if they don't play well, he'll be gone. If they if they play well and possibly make the playoffs, at least a wild card, maybe even a division win, that would motivate him to come back, come back for some money, like maybe a little bit less to get other players. But they need him. They they need to show him that the team can bond and be a strong playoff contender, so he can come back. Now to the NFC. The Redskins signing Kirk Cousins to the second franchise tag, second franchise tag in a row. The only quarterback to ever have two franchise tags two seasons in a row. What do y'all think about this? To be honest, I'd never heard. I'd never. I heard that he was franchise tag last year, but it's second year for the Reds. I mean, Kirk Cousins. He said earlier this season he wanted out of there, and especially he made one playoff run with the Redskins, got knocked out in the first round against the Packers, but he's never really showed up, and he's playing in a harder division now. It seems like with the Cowboys, Eli Manning still in that division, who has two rings. I mean, it's just, it's going to be harder for Kirk Cousins. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard. I mean, he deserves it though, because I mean he's been a great quarterback. But I don't think he deserves a franchise tag. He might get – he should be able to get some more money. But, I mean, honestly, if they don't perform well, he's going to want to get out of there in a hurry because they have not been performing. They have a tough division, tough teams that have been playing well. But I, I just don't think that they can really make a run. Moving on to the runner-up Atlanta Falcons. How are they – they signed Don Terry Poe, who said it was a great fit for Atlanta. They drafted another – to a linebacker on the defensive end of Taff McKinley and Duke Riley, and then they're still thinking of bringing back veteran uh, Dwight Freeney for another year. They're still That's still in the process, but who knows? Now, Do you go, think this team will be just as good as last year? to Duke Riley. He came out of LSU. He was a monster at LSU. He was quiet because he got shut down by Kendall Beckwith, who was a middle linebacker. He was much, he, Kendall Beckwith was the slammer, and then uh, Duke Riley was the one who came around the outside and hit the running backs. But the big thing about him is he's quick and he's fast, and that per- fits in perfectly with the Falcons' fast defense. I think he'll be a great fit. And then Don Terry's Poe, the monster he is, will work out really well. Yeah, I think he kind of got shut down because the SEC, if you're not, like, a starter, like, and you're getting a little bit of playing time, it's kind of hard because, you know, there are a lot of good players in the SEC, and it's kind of hard to get that attention. But the Falcons, I think, uh, Falcons fans need to learn them quick, and they're going to get a lot of attention. Thank you guys for listening to Atlanta Teen Sports Center. All right, give me your name one more time real quick.